Today, thousands of North Koreans filled the streets of the capital Pyongyang in mourning of the country's longtime leader Kim Jong Il. State media reported he died of a heart attack on Saturday, but details remain unclear. Kim Jong Il officially took over power from his father in 1994, but was a central figure in the communist leadership since the mid 1970s. North Korea's isolated regime is nuclear armed, and neighboring countries have expressed concern heading into a period of transition. Some human rights groups are pressing for an improvement in relations in order to address widespread poverty and hunger. According to Amnesty International, nearly a million people have died in North Korea due to food shortages since the mid-1990s. Chronic malnutrition continues to hit millions more, especially women and children. For more on the local reaction, we go to FSRN's Jason Struther in Seoul, South Korea. Jason, what has been the response like in South Korea to the news of Kim Jong-il's death? Uh, Well, despite North Korea being a nuclear-armed state without a ruler at the moment, uh, most South Koreans that I've spoken to seem very calm. Uh, The fact of the matter is... uh, South many here don't feel that what happens above the 38th parallel has any real impact on their lives. Uh, South Korea's president, Im Young Bak, has said that people should uh, remain calm, go about their daily business, and that's pretty much what they did. Now, Kim Jong Il's weakening health has been reported on in the last few years. Any more details about the circumstances of his death? For about three years now, there had been talk about how Kim had suffered a stroke, had brain surgery, may have even had pancreatic cancer, was a a diabetic. Uh, So it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that at age 69 or 70, uh, Kim uh, finally succumbed to his health problems. North Korean media is saying it was a heart attack brought on by the exhaustion uh, that Kim endured trying to improve the nation. Uh, I think without medical records, it would be impossible for the outside world to know uh, whether, in fact, it was a heart attack that killed him or uh, some other uh, health-related issue. You mentioned South Korea's President Lee myung Bak calling on people to continue about their business, but there must be some thought about the future and how this event could affect uh, things and relations moving forward. One of the most pressing issues is the reunification of families who have been divided since the war. Is there any indication at this point of how Kim Jong-il's death could affect that process of reunification? There's been no talk yet uh, related to the family reunions issue. Of course, for the past few months, the unification ministry here, the government body that handles all matters with the North, has been pressing for the resumption of these inter-Korean family reunions. Uh, The Red Cross here keeps requesting uh, these get-togethers to be held, but Pyongyang pretty much routinely has denied that for the past year. Kim's death could possibly uh, start some movement in the North uh, to have these get-togethers held, but one of the main problems, one of the main obstacles standing in the way of these reunions of these reunions is that the venue that many of them have been held over the past decade uh, has been seized by the North Korean government this year. Uh, There's a lot of controversy at the Mount Gumgang Resort uh, where South Korean tourists uh, once visited. Uh, So I think I think until matters get resolved there at the resort, it would be very difficult at the moment for any more reunions to take place. Looking ahead, Kim Jong-il's son, Kim Jong-un, has been mentioned as a successor. What's his leadership likely to be like, and and what does this transition of power look like? Well, we still don't know very much about Kim Jong-un. He's believed to be in his late 20s, educated abroad in Switzerland, uh, and all of a sudden last year he was appointed as a four-star general. Uh, Analysts do hope that his uh, Western education might mean that he'll be more open to engagement with the international community. Uh, But I think the fact that he is so young uh, and inexperienced 
uh, indicates that there might be uh, figures either in North Korea's workers' party, the military, or both, uh, who are actually pulling the strings from behind the scenes. Uh, North Korea has not officially said that Kim Jong-un uh, is going to take over, although um, he he has risen up in the North Korean Workers' Party and Defense Commission in recent months, and he's been appointed as the head of his father's funeral commission. Uh, so he definitely is taking a prominent role. Of course, Kim Jong-il himself inherited power from his father, Kim Il-sung, back in 1994, but it was three years until he was officially named as uh, the chairman of the Defense Commission uh, and Workers' Party, which pretty much is equivalent to the prime leadership in North Korea. That's FSRN's Jason Struther in Seoul, South Korea. Jason, thank you. Thank you.